All right, so the front side of the fish is looking good. Let's extrude out this tail. So I'll go back here and select. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to just adjust this a tiny bit. I'll turn off my reference layer here. Press F. OK. I'm going to go to face, select these faces over here. And then I'll hit extrude, turn my reference image back on, go over here to my side panel, and it's extrude out. And then I'll hit extrude one more time, go out to here. And now I think what I'll do is I'll go to vertex, and I'm going to move these vertices over a little bit. Oops, let's see, let's kind of round this out. Okay, so I'm going to, once again, turn off my reference. I'm going to go to face and select the four faces in the back right here. And then I'll hit extrude and extrude them out. So I'll go back over here to my perspective panel. I'm going to select these four faces, press extrude, and move these out. All right, so now I'll turn my reference layer back on, and I'll start to adjust this. So I'm going to right click, go to vertex, and let's start moving some vertices. Okay, so as I extruded out, I kind of made the tail too wide. So let's go in here and select all these vertices here. Hit R, scale them back in. Same thing over here, scale these back in. All right, so let's go back to face, select the four faces here, and let's hit extrude. I'm going to press W and just move this out, and I'll hit extrude again, press W, and move it out to the edge. I'll do the same thing down here on this side, select these faces down here, press extrude, W, move it out, press extrude again, press W, and move this out. All right, so now I'm in the side panel, and I'm going to right click, go to vertex, and start to move these vertices. Same thing down here. OK. So I'll turn off the visibility on my reference layer and just take a look at what we have. I like that quite a bit. I'm going to add an edge loop right through here. So I'll go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool, 
and then just scale it down a little bit just to round that out and let's have one more edge loop right here and then I'll turn my reference image back on and do we need to do any scaling here? Probably not. So now I'm just going to take a look at the model in general. So let's extrude out the fin at the top of the fish. So I've selected four, ver uh, four faces. And over here in the side panel, I'll hit extrude. And then I'm press W and go up. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to go up, press R. I'm going to flatten this. Scale in. Move this back. Go to the front panel. Hit R. Let's scale in this way. Maybe go down a little bit. I'm not sure here. Move this over a little bit. All right. So I'm press Q. Right click, go to face, and let's select the four faces. And once again, I will extrude up. And let's scale in. Let's move it back. Scale in some more. Extrude up again. Scale in. Move it over. And one last time, extrude up, over, scale in. I'm going to come back down a little bit. Maybe rotate. No. Let's right click and go to vertex. And let's just move these manually. Let's come in here and scale these in. OK, that looks good. And let's say we're going to go to face right here. We're going to extrude out the uh, fin on the side right here. And what maybe we should do? this face instead. Yeah, let's do that one. So I'll hit extrude and this time I just want to scale in. So I click on any of these three cubes and then let go and then I just click and drag on the center cube right here. Scale in on uh, X. Oh, this is Y actually. Alright, so let's extrude this out. And let's see here. Let's go out and scale it down. How far out have we gone? Not too far. So let's extrude out again. And let's scale it out. Extrude again. Scale out even more. Extrude one more time. And let's scale in. And probably what we need to do is reduce the size here. So now I'm going to select all of these vertices here. Press E for my rotate tool. Press home and move my pivot point over. And then press home again. And then rotate all this stuff down a little bit.
And then I think I'm going to just move this back slightly. Maybe take these, go back a little bit further. So in the final video in this series, we will complete the fish by making room for the eyes and creating a second fin on the other side.